Morning world and welcome to my birthday. Yeah, 57 years ago, at four o'clock in the morning, I was born, I think it was eight pounds, six ounce or something, screaming little brat, bought into the world. So, and pretty much can say I've never looked back. We never wanted to go back. Nope, dark in there. So that was the good news. Bad news is, Look at the colour of that sky. And the combine is supposed to be going into our rate today. Weatherman says rain this afternoon. That could, that could spoil our day. What's in there? What's in there? She says, I want it, I want it, I want to kill it. All right, back it up. So as is tradition, um, I've got to take my guys out for breakfast this morning, at my expense, even though it's my birthday. But that's okay, because that's the tradition. Um, so we're off to, I think today we're off to the hillside calf, no, the hideaway calf, sorry, at um, Lay Hill. Uh, they don't open until quarter to nine, so it's a bit of a late start for the guys. They'll have to do a bit of sharpening and tool setting and stuff first. And then I'm going to go off down to Titterington and find out what's going on with the harvest. Um, Reg got his rape off yesterday. Uh, apparently, even though he's had his combine all service and done, apparently he was losing a bit of the crop. I'm not sure what the story is of that, whether there was a loose cover or a hole in something. Not sure. Anyway, whatever the issue was, it's been repaired. So we should get all ours in the bin, providing it doesn't rain. That could, really could, spoil the day. Born it! I'm recording it just in case you could be rude names on your birthday. But you wish you could. That's not a very nice thing to say, is it? Eh? Eh? <laughs> right, that's that job up at um, Gloucester Street in Wooden. Uh, actually, if I can put that in the truck, then you've got it. It's on top of your bag, Mr. P. Oh. We're going to go to the hideaway at Lael. Birthday, by the way. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, you see, see you. Hey, what? Oh, oh, the T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that? I that. Do you like that? I did that. Yeah. Yeah. My missus bought it for me, so I thought it was suitable for the period. You know. Yeah. Have they seen it? Have they? Has who seen it? On the camera. Probably. Yeah. Well, yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, Hilltop doesn't open, no, how do I keep calling it Hilltop, doesn't open until nine o'clock, so we're not going to bother getting there until quarter to nine. Yeah. So, um, lay uh, Lay, Lale. yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah, oh, I've got there. Oh, yeah. You as well. Hello, Binky. Oh, was it? Mm. Emma's at her coughing her guts up as well. She's just announced to me that she's taking me out for breakfast, although she's, although, and no, maybe she's coming with me, even if it's just me and her, so. Yeah, exactly. I thought, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Right. Okay, so yeah, just uh, have a fiddle of faff around here for half an hour and then we'll go. Yeah, yeah, very good. All right, so uh, if you want to load up um, Captain for the head trimming job or to the one, so put all the kit on one, then you could drive the other one to the cafe. So I'm going to leave all the kit out, if you know what I mean. There's only three of you, so you can do either truck. Yeah, so Emma's dropped Mikey off and stayed. 
And there was definitely a comment she made to me as I was walking out. She goes, yes, I'm, I'm coming to breakfast with you this morning, even if it's just you and me. And it's like, followed by happy birthday, Dad. In other words, it sounds like I'm buying my daughter and granddaughter breakfast as well. There's a surprise. Okay, I'll check over the animals and then I'll be happy to go. Uh, right, boys and girls, I'll kick that up for you in a second. This lot look quiet enough. So even though they can go out, they are spending quite a lot of time in the shed, which makes me feel a little bit guilty, le less guilty, sorry, about having them in the shed because they're obviously not that bothered about it. Uh, you comfy down there? Yeah. You comfy? Yeah. You got your mouth full? Yeah, you have, haven't you, a little bit, yeah. Mm -mm. A bit cooler today. So, and there's, it's that fresh, almost taste to the air where I can taste or smell rain. Just not today. Tomorrow you can rain, but not today. Not on my birthday. Actually, it's not the birthday. Not, not until we finish getting the rape off. Then you can rain. You will want another bell later on, won't you? But for now, we'll just kick that up. Right. That's them. They've had their breakfast. They're having their breakfast. I'm about to go and have my breakfast. It's good. Come on. Rah! Okay, that's birthday breakfast done. At my expense again. So uh, I'm not complaining. I have just told, because I got to leave early. So I've just told the cafe owner, say, yeah, kick them out, they've got to go back to work. So, and then entertained everybody on the way out as I walked into the door. So, as I was walking out, there was a lady spotted my t-shirt and it made her laugh. And, uh, made her laugh. And I, I looked at her instead of where I was going, and didn't realize the door was shut, walked straight into the door, so. Oh, well, it's my birthday. Right, so we are gonna go over to Tether Farm now. Um, I just wanna see if Reg is combined. You know, I got an appointment at 11 o'clock with the South Gloucestershire tree officer, um, a lady I haven't seen for a long time. And yeah, let's hope, let's hope in the meantime, the combine is at work because that is looking pretty angry up there. I don't want rain on the rape. So I had a sensible birthday breakfast, what they call a small breakfast. So like one sausage, one piece of bacon, one egg, nothing too, nothing too elaborate. Um, I don't think we're having anything special for lunch today, but I do think there was talk of maybe a takeaway tonight, so I don't want to overdo it because if I eat too much, I'll just, I'll just feel poorly. The lads, on the other hand, they've all had full English, great big breakfasts. And I warned them, I said, look, you've got to go to work after that. Well, yeah, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. And now, they're, now they couldn't quite finish it. And I said, now you lot have still got to go to work. Ooh, no, no excuse, crack on, get on with it. So, um, yeah. That's probably going to make themselves feel poorly, but that's that's up to them. They did not have to have a great big breakfast. So you get older, you get wiser. So sometimes less is more. It feels quite cool outside. There's a bit of breeze and it's overcast, but according to the car. It's still 19 degrees C outside, so it's not cold. It's just we've got a bit of cold wind. Um, I mean, if it stays like this, we might even be spot on for harvesting. <clears throat> I don't know what the dry matter is. I'm sure Reg has done a test. I don't know what the dry matter is in the oilseed rape. I know it's got to be definitely not less than six and not more than 12 and nine to be about right if we can get it. But um, yeah, well, maybe we'll find out in a minute. I'm gonna call into Reg's farm because if the combine's in there, then I know he's not combining ours and it saves me the trip to the farm. If the combine's not there, then we'll shoot down the farm and see if he is actually running. So 
I kind of hope he is. I've got the drone, so, you know, if he is, we'll, we'll go up. Unless it rains. Okay. No sign of a combine. There's Andy. Right, no combine until later on, providing the weather holds. Um, they got loads of barley going out this morning, which they need out of the way because we're out of space. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So ours, if the weather holds, I think the combine will go on to ours later on this afternoon, not this morning. So hopefully it holds. And if not, um, weather's supposed to pick up and we have got pod stick on, on our uh, rape. So it's, it's not like if we get a shower of rain, we're going to have everything bursting and losing crop. but. It would still be just nice to get it, get it off. So, uh, and Reg said there was a little electrical fault on the combine. He knows what it is. It's dust has got into some connector or something. It is, but I think it's one of those things. They got to get to it, pull it apart, blow it out. I don't know if they put any squirt in it or not. But uh, right, so I'm going to go and see Father because I've got to take some paperwork into him. Electricity board want to prune some of our trees, which I've approved signed off but I need the paperwork to stay in the farm office for over here not at home and then in 40 minutes I'm going to go meet Leah from the council and look at some trees See you later. Right. right, another short delay, uh, but an unavoidable one. Uh, Reg and Andy bought the combine back from where they were um, working yesterday, the first thing this morning. And there was, <coughs> Reg knew there was a little electrical fault somewhere. And yeah, we found it. It's the bearings gone on the alternator. Not just gone, took the belt off and the whole pulley of the alternator is moving like five six mil up and down yeah so um, until we got the new alternator on which I think class are coming out to fit it I think they're on their way actually uh, we won't be doing any combining until that's done because that's 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 a machine on fire in the middle of the field we don't want that so uh, and yeah they're gonna give me a ring um, when the machines fixed and if I've got time and whatever's going on I'll come back over I don't know if um, family have got any plans for me this afternoon. I basically told them not to because I want to be doing this. But you never know with my missus. She tends to surprise me with stuff on birthdays and Christmas and stuff like that. So, so yeah, uh, all being well, we'll be back over later on. Um, if it doesn't rain, the combine will probably be working later this afternoon. Um, but in the meantime, I think the plan is, if nothing else, uh, to get it repaired, new alternator fitted, with all the servicing's done, so the 10 hour service has been done, so everything's been greased, everything's been, all the filters have been blown out. Um, they've only got the header left to do now. I think they're gonna have lunch and do the header after, after lunch. And then hopefully this afternoon, we'll actually put the machine to work and get some off. But that is as black as well, it's really, really black over there, and it's coming this way. And the weatherman says between one o'clock and four o'clock, and it's quarter to one now, he might actually be right for a change, we're gonna have a downpour. So, I hope, I hope we don't. But like Andy said, with rape, if, if, you get a, if we get a bit of rain, give it an hour, because the crop's so dry anyway, give it an hour, we probably could still 
maybe get a bit done today. So, but yeah, nothing else. <coughs> Even if it does rain, I think the idea is to get the combine over to our place. We'll put it in our corn store because uh, the only way we can get the combine to our farm, to the farm, is on the main road on the A38. And as we understand, there is going to be some roadway protest disruption tomorrow. Uh, we, it takes an hour to get the combine to the farm the long way round as it is. We don't want it to take two and a half, three hours to do the same trip because folks are protesting. Let's avoid that. So, but like I said to Reg, the downside with that is it means everybody's going to be using the country rat runs. So if we're trying to haul uh, rapeseed backwards and forwards to the farm, uh, <laughs> there's a chance. The chance it's going to be fun. Yeah. If you don't need to travel tomorrow in the Thornby area, please stay away from Mitchelton to the turn because we're going to be coming through with tractors, I hope, and we got to get this stuff in the barn. Just, just, just get out of the way. I think the chances of the combine coming out again today, pretty slim. So, sorry, no combine action today, but maybe, maybe tomorrow. <laughs>